Jeep were the original and some would say best producers of SUVs for so long that many people still refer to any car with a bit of extra height or ground clearance as a Jeep. But what we've got here is an actual Jeep in the shape of their entry to the compact crossover market. And the Renegade, or baby Jeep if you like, claims to be the only true SUV in the segment. It's certainly a lot burlier looking than most of its rivals with its high ground clearance and tough boxy design. And the strong links to its heritage will please original Willys Jeep fans with that iconic 7 slot grille and round headlamps. There's some more little touches of fun around the cabin or easter eggs as Jeep likes to call them, like the little Willys Jeep climbing up the windscreen and there's a bit of crack to be had trying to find the rest of them. I think I might have managed to find them all but I'm open to correction. The interior feels like a proper utility vehicle. There's a grab handle for your front seat passenger and some more nice little details like a mud splash on the tachometer and tyre tracks on the floor mats. The only thing I am slightly disappointed with is the electronic handbrake. I feel like a manual one would have been a bit more authentic. But other than that, the materials used feel a bit more tough and jeepish and because it's so boxy you get loads of headroom so it feels really spacious. It's equally good in the back, taller passengers should have no problems and knee room is pretty decent too. Middle seat might be a bit of a squeeze if you have three adults back there, but in the more likely event that you're carrying children, there should be no reason for them to complain. Isofix anchors means you'll be able to strap them in nice and securely too, and a 5 star euro end cap rating makes it a pretty safe choice overall. The boot measures in at 350 litres, which is not quite as big as your typical crossover. The Qashqai, for example, has 430, but it is quite a bit larger than your typical hatchback. And if you really want to take advantage of that tall, boxy shape, you can drop the back seats to create yourself a very practical van-like load area. There's some well thought out storage in the cabin too, with plenty of compartments and cup holders, and some handy power outlets so that you can charge your phone as you drive. This Uconnect touchscreen is the same as the one used by Fiat and quite a nice system to use, even if it is a little bit on the small side. You can also get it equipped with DAB digital radio and sat-nav, depending on which trim you go for. Both are standard on this well-specced Longitude model, which also gets parking sensors, cruise control and 17-inch alloy wheels. The Renegade shares many of its components with the Fiat 500X, although it's about as far away as you can get from it in the looks department, and there really isn't a hint of cute about this car. So if the idea was to create some sort of his and hers combo, then I must be all mixed up because I much prefer this one. I love the way it looks, I love the reaction it gets, especially in this vibrant orange colour, and I love the way it drives. Like the 500X, it's surprisingly good fun on the road, and despite the tall Tonka truck body, it stays nicely planted around corners with very little roll. There's a wide range of petrols and diesels to choose from, with the option to go automatic or four-wheel drive, but the most popular will be this standard front-wheel drive 1.6-litre multi-jet diesel. This one has 120 HP, which offers plenty of power for around town. It feels even more at home on country roads, although it does get a little bit noisy at motorway speeds. It should suit most people's budgets too, with an impressive fuel economy of 4.4 litres per 100 kilometres, or 64 mpg, and an annual motor tax bill of just 200 euro. Pricing starts at just under 23,000 euro, but for a diesel like this one in a decent spec, you're looking at closer to 28,000. And yes, you could probably get a bigger car for that, but you won't get one more interesting. I think it's safe to say that I'm impressed. To see if you are, you can check it out at your local Jeep dealer, details of which you'll find on our new car channel. I'm Sinead McCann for carsireland.ie.